Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So I'd like to explore this concept in photography about authenticity, where photos have to depict reality to a certain degree, otherwise it's fake. There are many ways in which some people might call a photo fake. This can range from creative decisions the photographer makes, for example, by omitting certain parts of the scene to create a better composition, compositing several images together to create a new one, or even by simply editing colors. Nowadays, with the switch to digital photography and the proliferation of digital editing tools, editing photos have never been easier. And the criteria for what makes a photo real or fake is definitely being questioned. However, is there really a need for us to debate whether a photo is real or fake? And if yes, what should the criteria be for a photo to be real? I bring this up because last year I went on a trip to Europe where I brought with me a roll of Lomography's Lone Chrome Purple, which is a type of false color negative film. This film was inspired by the legendary Kodak Aerochrome film, which was sensitive to the infrared spectrum of light, hence it rendered colors in a distinct red-shifted manner. Greens appear red, while human skin tone remains somewhat natural, if not lighter. If you're wondering why anyone would develop such a film, well, it was actually developed by Kodak in partnership with the US government for use in surveillance during war. The nature of the film supposedly made it easier to distinguish humans among lush foliage in forests and jungles. Lomochrome purple, as its name implies, renders images that are purple shifted. Greens appear purple, blue appear green, yellows to pinks, while reds remain relatively unchanged. To me, this is a very interesting and wonderful effect, and more than half of the shots that I took were stunning. After collecting my favorite photos from the roll, I decided to call the collection as Fantasy, most of which depicts imagery from the Neuschwanstein Castle in Germany and the Palace of Versailles in France. Fantasy because the photos looked surreal and otherworldly. And then I wondered, are these photos still real? They no longer depict the real colors of the scene I captured, so I would never claim that the trees were actually of this color when I saw them. But I believe these false color photos to be just as real as the true color photos I took that time. I think the fundamental nature of photography, which is capturing light and rendering it into an image, is what sparked this dissonance in my head. For the longest time, humans were only able to render images through drawing and painting, but after photography was developed, suddenly we had the means to record and document what is truly happening in front of our eyes. But I think that photography, much like painting and any other art form, is not and should not be limited to documentation, but also for self-expression. For me, photography is an art form in which the artist, the photographer, makes use of whatever tools and skills they have in order to create something. The camera is like the brush, the light, its paint palette, and the photographer uses their technical know-how to skillfully make something on a blank canvas that is a photograph. They can choose to change colors, omit or add items, and even depict something that does not truly exist. Which is why for me, all photos are fundamentally real. Only the truthfulness of the author is what changes that.
So thanks for listening to my thoughts. Um, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, what are your criteria for what makes a photo real or fake? Um, do you think my photos are fake? Like the false color photos one? Um, yeah, comment down below. I don't get as much, so you'll know that I'll read yours if you do leave a comment. Also, if you're interested, I used a roll of Lomochrome Purple from its 2018 batch. It's the Lomochrome Purple XR, which Lomography says you can rate anywhere in between 100 to 400 ISO. For myself, I chose to expose for 200 ISO and develop for 400 ISO. I also asked my lab to not color correct the photos. I found that in doing so, they didn't remove this green color cast from the photos, so mine kind of looked more aqua and magenta rather than purple. I did edit the photos to digitally remove this green cast, but I chose to leave the magentas more towards the red color than purple. As much as I like this film though, I don't think I would use it for everyday use. Um, first, it's expensive and quite rare. I actually had to pre-order some in order to get my hands on it. And right now, I'm waiting for the 120 version of the film. Second, I tend to take photos for documentation. And color is a strong motivation on why I would take a photo of something. So I don't think the whole false color aesthetics would always work for me. I will, however, keep several rolls of this film in my fridge for those times that I feel like doing some out-of-the-box type of photography. Maybe when spring comes back. I also have a feeling that this film would look great during the fall, especially here in Alberta when the trees turn bright yellow. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. If I take a photo of my cat with this film, he will probably turn pink.